Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be talking about my top five mascaras for short and sparse eyelashes. Okay, I'm gonna go through my eyelash journey with you and I'm gonna share with you the best mascaras that I've just loved the look of on my eyelashes the most that I feel have really enhanced, lengthened, thickened my lashes. So if you also have short, straight, sparse lashes, then just keep watching. Let me first address the fact that my lashes are in a much better place than they, than they were a few years ago. Literally, I used to have nothing, okay? I'll see if I can go back in my older videos and find out. I have actual visible lashes now because I've been using a lash serum for two years and I'm gonna talk about the lash serum that I use as well. Just know that I used to be in a worse place. So if your lashes are shorter and more sparse than mine, I completely understand. I hope you take my tips. I also have very, very straight lashes. I am half Asian. I did get them Asian lash jeans. It doesn't matter how many times I try and curl what I use. I can't keep a curl. I can keep a curl if I use a waterproof mascara, but I hate picking off waterproof mascara. It takes so much rubbing of the eye that I just don't care. I wear falsies. <laughs> so when you're watching my mascara demos today, I want you to pay attention to the lower lashes. That's where you're going to see the most transformation because my eyelashes are so straight. So use my lower lashes as a guide to see how the mascara works. So let's get into the lash serums. Like I said, I used to be working with nothing. I use a lash serum every evening and for the first time ever, I do have visible lashes. So for the last two years, I have been using new lash. You can get this at Nordstrom and this is quite pricey I'm not gonna lie to you guys this is not a cheap lash serum but I've used it for a couple years it's never irritated my eyes and it really does work this is the reason that I have lashes they do stop growing at a certain point I would say you know my lashes aren't gonna grow for the rest of my life but for somebody who was working with such short lashes it really is amazing what this was able to make my eyelashes do this is by the brand skin research laboratories you can see the name here so this works you do have to use it every single night in order to see results, but it just put it as a part of your skincare routine. It's really not that bad. You do start to see results, I would say within one month, but you can see the full results after three months. Now I did want to add this in. My mom right now is using Grande Lash by Grande Cosmetics. She went through a phase a few years ago where she used new lash, which is what I'm using now. She stopped the lashes, went back to normal, which is what happens no matter what lash serum you're using. If you're not applying it, your lashes will go back to their normal length. For the past few months, she's been using a Grande Lash and she just wants to let y'all know that she swears this made her lashes grow longer than the new lash. So when I'm done with my stock of new lash, I'm going to be switching over to Grande because one, it is more affordable. It's still pricey, but it's more affordable and you can get a lot of value sets that they have. They just have better deals, you know? And two, it's much more accessible. Not that it's hard to get new lash because you can get it at Nordstrom, but it's only available at Nordstrom. I feel like the Grande Cosmetics stuff is a little bit more easily accessible. So I can't speak for Grande Cosmetics, but my mom swears it did a better job than new lash and it's more affordable, so I will be switching over. But yeah, if you're looking for a lash serum, they work. They personally don't irritate my eyes. They've been game changers as far as my eyelashes. With that all being said, let's get into the mascaras that I have. So I have a mixture of both high-end and drugstore. I have been using the mascaras for my overlay shots for you these last three days. So let's start off with what I used a couple of days ago. These are both luxury mascara brands. So they're around the same price point. So the first one that I wanna talk about is the Pat McGrath fetish eyes. In my demo, I used it on this eye. So let's take a look at the bristles right here. It is a fatter one, which can be a little bit difficult to work with, but I don't care because this is my favorite mascara that I use for volume. It is so black and it really packs onto my lashes. Now beware, I would say this is probably the clumpier of mascaras I have to talk about today, but I love it. It gives me great length, but it gives me even better volume and it really makes my lashes visible. <laughs> and when my lashes were a lot tinier, I still loved this mascara. The one thing I will say about this mascara is that it does flake. 
This is the only mascara that I have today that flakes, but it makes my lashes look so good and so full that I don't even care, but just be aware of that. So if you're looking for that volume and for it to just build and build and give you some thick lashes, I think this is one that you are really going to enjoy. I've used this one for years. I like this better than the Dark Star Mascara personally from Pat McGrath, though I do like the Dark Star Mascara as well. But if you're looking for volume, I highly recommend this one it just it looks so good okay the next mascara that I have I've never really heard anybody talk about but it is great for a combination of volume and length leaning more towards length being the strength but both are good so this is by Giorgio Armani or Armani Beauty this is the eyes to kill mascara so first of all I like this a little bit better than the Pat McGrath because the applicator is thinner which makes it a little bit easier to apply on shorter sparser lashes it also provides a greater length I would say than the Pat McGrath and also separates a little bit more so I look like I have more eyelashes when I wear this mascara as opposed to the volume that the Pat McGrath gives me. It's a little bit more of a cleaner everyday mascara that gives me that length. I use Pat McGrath for volume. I'm not saying that the Armani is better, but for day to day, I do prefer this because it's not going to flake and it gives me a little bit more length and separation in my lashes. Uh, but it just depends what kind of look that you're going for. But this, I discovered this year and I really have been loving it. Never heard anybody talk about it. I got it in a random PR package and I just love the way that this treats my lashes and makes it look, and you guys can see in the demo. The next mascara that I have to share with you is one that I actually didn't like at first, but now I love it. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. So this is different than all of the other mascaras that I'm going to talk about today. So you can see the wand. It's a really like spiky wand, and there aren't two very long bristles. It's quite different, but the formulation of this mascara, it's not normal. It's a tubing mascara. So if you don't know what a tubing mascara is, it literally creates little tubes on your eyelashes which gives your lashes fantastic length. But you cannot remove this with a regular makeup remover. It needs to be with water. So you can do this in the shower or in the sink when you wash your face at night. If you get water on your eyes, the mascara is literally going to come off in that tube shape. So it's going to look and feel like you're pulling your eyelashes off. Well, not feel like you're pulling your eyelashes off, but when you look down, you're going to think you pulled your eyelashes out because it looks like your eyelash, but it's not. It's just that tube that it created around it. So it's really unique in that aspect. And at first, I didn't really like what this did to my lashes. It's not going to give you much volume, but it does give you really great length and separation. And this is my everyday mascara. So even in the demo, I was wearing my no makeup makeup look because I just wanted to look better, you know, more fresh and awake. This is the mascara that I go for for my everyday no makeup makeup look because you don't need to put in much effort in the removal of your makeup. It's a pain to me when I just wanna throw something on to even my complexion and a little bit of mascara to open up my eyes and define them a bit, but I don't want to go through the process of scrubbing my eyes to get that mascara off, and that's when I use this. This way, you know what, it's just a quick wipe off of the face makeup and then I can just go in the sink when I wash my face and this comes off with water. It's just a lot simpler. You don't need to tug at the eyes and this gives great length to the lashes. I want to say this is, I don't know, there's no volume to it at all, but it gives your lashes so much length. It looks really great. If you're looking for length, this is the one that you are going to go for and it's just so easy to take off, which I love and makes me want to use it very, very often often. All right, we're going to move on to the final two mascaras, which I'm wearing on both eyes. Which one, which eye do you think looks better? This eye or this eye? So both of these are quite affordable. They are my two favorite drugstore mascaras and they are great. So this first one I'm going to talk about is the most popular mascara probably. This is the Essence Lash Princess. I have mine from a Disney collection, but it needs to be the green one. This is probably my all-time favorite mascara of this entire video. This is my number one in terms of how it makes my lashes look. It gives me length and separation with a touch of volume as well. The bristles, let me show you what the wand looks like. So the wand looks like this. 
It's not too big, it's not too fat, very simple to use. And I feel like it just gives me really great length and separation. You can see every individual lower lash. Like I said, I don't pay attention to how it makes my upper lashes look just because they're so straight, nobody's gonna see them anyway. But it makes my lower lashes look phenomenal. Number one mascara that I recommend, and it's so popular for a good reason, you know. That one is not overhyped in my opinion. Okay, the last mascara that I have to talk about, it's on this eye. This one reminds me a lot of a mixture of like the Pat McGrath and the Armani Eyes to Kill mascara in one. It does great with volume and it does great with length. It's that perfect in between. So this is by Maybelline. This is the Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. The only downfall I would say about this is I do feel like the wand is a bit too big for my eyelash size so I do have to be very careful when applying it however I love the way that this mascara builds and you can see compared to the lash princess which I'm sorry this has to go side by side with the best mascara so the best mascara is just better but compared to the lash princess it does give more volume it's not quite as separating or lengthening but this one is going to give you that volume that you need and I I went pretty sparingly with my coats on this just because I knew the Lush Princess was going to outshine it so much. But this can get a little clumpy, but in a good way, not a bad clumpy. You don't wanna to apply too, too, too much of it, but you can build it up for that extra volume. This one, they say it's like a lash lifter. I want you to see. It does kind of have more of a lifted appearance from the curl compared to the Lush Princess. So it also does a better job of holding a curl. Not really, but it still keeps that lift, which is really good considering no mascara does that. So it's also great on holding a curl, kind of, just keeping my eye open. But there I have it, you guys. Those are my top five mascaras. I know this is a very niche kind of video, but I mean, I'm here to help y'all out. All my fellow girls who have these short sparse lashes, definitely give these five a try. I think you will really like it. If you don't like the mascaras at first, give it some time because some of these take a bit to dry out just a little bit and then they'll work better and they won't be so heavy on the lash and they'll build better so give it some time for each mascara that you try out. I will have all of them linked down below for you guys as well as the lash serums. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys have a good one.